Good morning and happy St. Patrick's Day. You know, last year we celebrated as a family by learning a lot about Ireland and about St. Patrick and we made Irish food and it was really, really fun. But this year as I was getting ready for it, I just had some different ideas, different things we're wanting to celebrate. So today we're taking a very green approach. So this morning I found Laura standing in front of the mirror in my bedroom, like having a conversation with herself in the mirror. And she was like, no, I'm a princess. And then she'd say, no, I'm a princess. And she'd say, no, I'm a princess. And then she stopped and she said, no, I'm Laura. <laughs> it was so cute. I wish I could have grabbed the camera soon enough. You can watch Lisi, that's fine. Are we fine. supposed to stir it until it's like jello? You stir it for a minute and then we're gonna add some cold, cold water to it. Cold, cold water? Yeah, cold, cold water with ice. Laura, we're making rainbow jello. Rainbow jello. Okay. Kendra has prepared a St. Patrick's Day feast for lunch. So we're having baked potatoes because potatoes in Ireland seem to go together. Mm -hmm. And then we have broccoli and green grapes. Yummy. So I forgot to wear green today. Not intentional. How about you guys? Did you wear green on St. Patrick's Day? We'll do a poll. Yes or no. Let us Dad, know. Dad, I'm wearing green. You what? can just change and then turn into green. Should I just put on something green? Yeah. What happens if you don't wear green? You, um, you don't get it. <laughs> oh, you get pink! Yeah, you get pink! <laughs> so Kendra and I were talking and I'm trying to leave, but I can't. Come on. <laughs> he has to get back to work. No, we're going with him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll stay. Oh, they won. You should probably change into green before you get pinched again, because I, I have a feeling that guy's going to pinch you again any minute. <laughs> If you can stand the tip. <laughs> smell it. Mm, smell it, Mama. Does it smell good? That does smell good. Oh, we are doing three different science experiments today, but while I'm getting the stuff ready for the science experiment, I have the kids doing a penny challenge. They are supposed to use pennies to build a bridge. It's supposed to be at least three centimeters tall, three centimeters wide, and stay up for at least 10 seconds. You guys should try this, it's pretty fun. So Isaac built a triple penny bridge, which is pretty cool. Now he's gonna help Caleb. Caleb, does it keep falling over? Yes. All right, they're gonna work together. I just made one and it fall down. Really? That's disappointing. One missed, two missed, three. <gasps> Lisa, you did it! I'm not done. What are you gonna do now? Tower. You're gonna build a tower on top of yours? Mm -hmm. Here's some more. Thanks. Nobody wiggle. All right, well that was the statewide tornado drill. They test all the sirens, and then after this like first statewide tornado drill, then they test them on the first Wednesday of every month. So Jeremy called me right before this. He's like, Kendra, you know the first test is today. Like he didn't want me to be scared or freaking out that they were going off. But as you can see, it's a nice sunny day. You got the green one. Mm -hmm. So for school today, we're doing three different science experiments, and what we're gonna focus on is the reaction time of the science experiments. One of them is going to be fast. One of them is gonna be slow. And one of them is gonna be super duper slow. What are pennies made out of? What? Um, uh, I think gold. Nope, not gold. Frankincense. Frankincense? Frankincense. Stein. Frankenstein, they're not made out of Frankensteins. What's your guess? Bronze. They're not bronze. Glass? 
It's not made out Plastic. of glass. Plastic. It's actually called copper. Okay guys, so we're gonna take these pretty pennies and we are going to turn them green. Okay, now what do you think we're gonna add to get them to turn green? Um, green coloring. So when vinegar reacts with copper, it's going to turn it slightly green. Do you guys think this is going to go happen quickly or slowly? Slowly. Slowly. Quickly. You think it's gonna be quick? Let's see. It smells funny. It does smell it. funny. It's taking a long time, but I see a little bit. All right, here it comes. <laughs> How did that happen? It's That's the I don't baking soda and vinegar, when they react, they do that. So we have a little visitor this afternoon. It does not have a color. Does it not have a collar on? Oh, what a sweet kitty. It's all by itself. Is it all by itself? It cannot find its mom and dad. I bet. <laughs> Caleb, why don't you go sit back down at the table? You have to go. You have to go what? Outside. To I name it shave. Because it needs to shave its fur. All right, so we have six cups of water here, and we colored one blue, one yellow, and one red. And now we're gonna see if the water can walk. Do you guys think it can? Yeah. Yes. Do you think that this blue color can move to this cup? Yes. Yes. Unless someone pours it. Ooh, I think I can do it without pouring it. It can. The blue is such a fast walker. Okay, now we're studying, not stuttering, studying limericks. So we read a bunch of them together and we talked about how they're supposed to be five lines long and then we discovered their rhyme pattern which goes A, A, B, B, A. And so the kids are writing their own limericks right now which should be pretty entertaining. I tried to write one in, it's harder than it looks. Okay. So Elise wrote a whole story and then illustrated it. Nice work. And Isaac has written three limericks and Caleb, what are you doing? Um, copying something. You're copying something? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, does a C? Are you talking about a C? You're making the letter sounds, aren't you? Make a um, P. You're gonna make a P. Okay, uh -huh. color the P. What color are you using? Green. <laughs> it's not green. <laughs> what color is it? Purple. What's your favorite color? Um, green. Isaac, can you read us one of your limericks? Yeah. I found a lion. It scared my son Zion. It almost bit us and also our pet Gus. I hope we never ever find another lion. <laughs> That's awesome. You have it memorized, don't you? Underdog! So I'm in the other room and I hear Laura say, I find a banana! And I sprint, like I'm like booking it into this room and look where I found her. She climbs. Here? Oh good, that's the next jello we need. I say up here. Oh you need to stay up here? Uh -huh. It's not very safe up there, I think we should get down. No. You can have a banana, that's fine. When you want a banana, come ask mommy. Say, mommy, may I please have a banana? Mommy, please have a banana? Yeah, yeah sure. Come on. It's so scary to have climbers because they get into everything. And anyway, before I left the room, I actually put these pots on the stove, but I deliberately did not turn them on because I knew I needed to run and like move the laundry. And so there's nothing hot up here for her to get into, but look, she just pushed the chair right over there, climbed up, and got herself a banana. So I decided to put green food coloring into the water for the noodles. I don't know if it's gonna work or do anything. Like I'm wondering maybe that'll make the noodles turn green. Maybe. Wow. All right, so Caleb is washing windows right now and Isaac is sweeping the kitchen floor. 
because they were outside and they broke one of our family rules. And if you break one of our family rules, then you have to come inside and get a consequence from the consequence jar. And so Isaac pulled out sweep the floor, Caleb pulled out wash the windows, so they're working on that right now. But they're having good attitudes about it, which I'm really, really proud of them about. Take a break until are you the next day. You all right, sweetheart? You are all right? Oh. How's your dinner? Do you like your green noodles? Yeah. Well, the drinks look a little questionable. <laughs> She's waiting to see what Isaac thinks. It's not my favorite. I don't like it. It's not your favorite? You don't like it? Give it a try, Cubby. Mm, my favorite. No, a little yummy. A little yummy? Yeah. yeah Seriously. I like lemon. I hate it. It does not look very appetizing. What do you think of that it term? It's not. It's a uh, V8 splash, right? Mm -hmm. Those are normally pretty good. I know it smells good. All right, so for what dinner is? tonight, Lacey, can I show them your food? Mm hmm For dinner tonight, we are having green noodles with pesto and chicken on top. Um, what is this? Lettuce? <laughs> and like a little green salad and um, green apples. You like it? It takes a lot of time. I've done this before and I've always kind of wanted to. So, you guys all helped me make this, thank you. And some people say that there's a pot of gold you at the that? bottom. You think and that's true? Really is. No, it's a tall tale. What do you think, Caleb? There's a little thing of, of, of gold at the bottom. Is that real? Yeah. It's a, a lot. tall tale. It's called a leprechaun. Whoa. Leprechaun. Those leprechauns. Do you know the, the show where the, where Mickey Mouse, where they see the rainbow? And there's a leprechaun? Yeah. This makes me so happy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Does it make you happy? And you? Mm -hmm. And you? And me. You think there's a ladybug in your cup? Yeah. Show mommy where it is. It's not a ladybug, that's your jello. Mmm. <laughs> Here, just eat your jello. Good night. Jay House out.